How to change your brain. Neuroplasticity explained. What if I told you that your brain is not fixed, that no matter your age, habits, or past experiences, you can rewire your brain to learn faster, think clearer, and even break old patterns that have held you back for years? This isn't science fiction. It's the science of neuroplasticity. And today we're going to break it down in a way that could change the way you think about your own mind forever. Welcome back to Brain Nectar Focus, the channel where we uncover natural, science-backed strategies for mental clarity, focus, and long-term brain health. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button right now, because today's video is one you'll want to come back to again. By the end of this video you'll understand what neuroplasticity really is, how your brain rewires itself every single day, the habits that strengthen your brain's flexibility, and how you can start practicing these techniques immediately to boost learning, memory, and focus. Stick with me through the full video because I'll also share a simple daily neuroplasticity exercise you can try at home. It only takes five minutes, but the long-term effects can be huge. So let's start with the basics. What is neuroplasticity? And why is it the most important brain concept you've probably never fully explored? So, what exactly is neuroplasticity? In simple terms, it's your brain's ability to change, adapt, and rewire itself based on your experiences. Think of your brain like a network of roads. Every thought, habit, or skill you repeat strengthens a certain pathway, like turning a dirt trail into a paved highway. At the same time, pathways you don't use start to fade, like an overgrown trail in the forest. This means your brain is never fixed. Every new skill you learn, every new habit you build, even the way you think and react. It's all shaping and reshaping your brain's wiring. Let's say you decide to learn a new language. At first it feels impossible. The words sound foreign, your tongue trips over pronunciations. But with practice, your brain literally creates new connections between neurons to store, process, and recall those sounds. Over time, what once felt difficult becomes second nature. That's neuroplasticity in action, or think about recovery from a stroke. For years, scientists believed brain damage was permanent. But now, thanks to research in neuroplasticity, we know the brain can reroute functions to undamaged areas, helping people regain movement, speech, and memory. That's powerful proof that the brain is adaptable. But here's the real question. If your brain is constantly changing, how do you make sure it's changing in the direction you want, toward clarity, focus, and growth instead of stress, distraction, and decline? The answer lies in habits and repetition. The things you do every single day, whether it's scrolling endlessly on your phone or practicing deep focus, those are the inputs that shape your brain's wiring. Let me ask you this. What's one habit you'd love to rewire in your brain? Maybe it's procrastination. Maybe it's stress eating. Maybe it's overthinking. Drop your answer in the comments. I'll be pinning a top comment with the best neuroplasticity tips, and I'd love to highlight yours. Now that you understand the basics of neuroplasticity, let's go deeper into how it works inside your brain and the three key principles you need to know if you want to change your mind for good. Now that you know what neuroplasticity is, let's break down the three core principles you need to understand if you want to change your brain. Principle one, use it or lose it. Neural pathways that aren't used start to fade. If you stop practicing piano, that skill becomes rusty. If you stop exercising memory, recall becomes slower. Your brain conserves energy by pruning unused connections. That's why keeping your brain engaged is so important. Whether it's learning, problem solving, or creative play, activity keeps pathways alive. Principle 2. Repetition builds strength. The more you repeat a behavior, the stronger the neural connection becomes. Just like building muscle at the gym, you're building mental muscle by firing those neurons repeatedly. This is why small daily habits matter so much more than once-in-a-while efforts. 10 minutes of focus practice daily will change your brain more than a one-time four-hour study session. Principle 3. Emotion supercharges learning. Here's something fascinating. Your brain pays more attention when emotion is involved. That's why we remember emotionally charged events vividly. Pairing learning or habit change with strong positive emotion wires those pathways more effectively. For example, if you want to build a habit of journaling, pair it with a moment of gratitude or calm music. Emotion cements the memory and makes it stick. So to change your brain, the formula is simple. Keep your brain active, repeat the right habits consistently, and attach positive emotion to the process. 
but how do you put this into action in your daily life? Let's walk through a few practical neuroplasticity exercises you can start today. Practical exercises for neuroplasticity. Learn something new. Pick a skill outside your comfort zone, juggling drawing, or a new language. Novelty forces your brain to create fresh connections. Switch your routine. Brush your teeth with your non-dominant hand. Take a new route to work or cook a recipe you've never tried. Small changes activate new areas of the brain. Focus practice. Instead of multitasking, practice deep focus for short bursts. This strengthens your brain's ability to concentrate. Mind-body connection activities like yoga, dance, or tai chi combine movement and mindfulness, excellent for building new neural pathways. I want you to pick one of these exercises and try it this week. Then come back and comment below. Which one did you try and how did it feel? Did it challenge your brain in a new way? Your answer might inspire someone else in this community. Now that we've covered the principles and practical steps, let's wrap this up by looking at the long-term benefits of neuroplasticity, the real-life transformations it can create, and the one mindset shift that makes it all possible. Let's step back for a moment. Why does neuroplasticity matter so much? Because it gives you hope. It means you are not locked into the brain you have today. You can upgrade it, reshape it, and strengthen it at any age. Long-term benefits of neuroplasticity. Improved memory. Consistent mental training makes recall faster and sharper. Better focus. Rewiring your brain to avoid distraction improves deep work and productivity. Emotional balance. Changing thought patterns can reduce anxiety and build resilience. Recovery and healing. People recovering from brain injuries or mental blocks can regain function through targeted neuroplasticity exercises. Slowing cognitive decline. Staying mentally active can help protect your brain as you age. There's a powerful example of this in real life. A man in his 60s who suffered a stroke lost his ability to speak clearly. Doctors once thought recovery was impossible, but through neuroplasticity therapy, repeating words, sounds, and practicing daily, his brain literally rewired itself. After months of effort, he regained not only speech, but also the confidence to teach again. That's the power of consistent, intentional rewiring. If he can do that, imagine what you can do with daily practice. Here's the key mindset. Your brain is a work in progress. Every thought, every habit, every choice is shaping it right now. If you don't consciously direct it, your environment and default routines will do it for you. The question is, who do you want in charge of your brain's wiring? Autopilot or you? If this video gave you a new perspective, here are three things you can do right now. Subscribe to Brain Nectar. Focus for weekly science-backed strategies to sharpen your mind and boost clarity. Comment below. What's one brain habit you want to rewire starting today? I'll be pinning a top comment with neuroplasticity tips, and I'd love for your idea to inspire someone else. Share this video with a friend who needs a reminder that their brain is not fixed. They can change too. Your brain is always changing. Every habit, every thought, every choice rewires it. My favorite neuroplasticity tip, learn one new skill outside your comfort zone. What's your best brain rewiring hack? Reply below and let's build a list together. Thanks so much for watching. Remember, your brain is the most adaptable organ in your body. Treat it like a muscle, train it with intention, and watch it transform. Until next time, stay curious, stay focused, and keep rewiring for the life you want.